it has been a little over three months since I made a video teaching you how to talk to chickens. And both of them were text-to-speech videos, making it extremely hard to acknowledge and see how it feels like. So today we're going to be talking about something entirely different in this field. First, I'm just announcing that, you know, tomorrow's the chicken superlatives video. I am actually filming this on Saturday. It's going to be released today on Sunday, hopefully. I don't sound weird saying this right now. But the chicken superlatives video is tomorrow, so... You know, talking to chickens, chickens and roosters, they are literally almost the same language, despite sounding completely screwed up. So, each chicken version is a different variation of the last. Think of accents. You no, know, the accents, like this and this and these. Yeah, those are different accents. Those are terrible accents, but okay, so. So chickens, you know, the different sound is actually a different accent of the same words, yeah. Sounds amazing, right? So, you can't really make out what they're actually saying. You know, it's not 2090, we don't know what animals say yet. As of filming this, it is 2022, so unfortunately no, for, so unfortunately none of that for us. But, I'm gonna be teaching you prefixes and suffixes of chicken language that are currently known. I am about to talk to one of my chickens, as crazy as it might sound, as it might sound, but we're gonna be talking to one of my chickens and we're gonna see the response that we get. I'm gonna try to at least roughly translate what they're saying. Because actually, they actually have a field in English that they do understand. I believe it's around like 45 to 60 words, like their own words, the, their own names, the different names of the chickens around them, you know. Those are the stuff. We're gonna look at some of these languages, so. I'm going to talk to the most easiest to understand chicken, Lovey, really quickly. Because you know Lovey really likes to be around me. Hey, Lovey. Hey, Lovey. No response. Alright, let's talk to Chicken Burger. Hey, Chicken Burger. I'm doing good. How about you? Glad to hear. No, those words weren't actually made up. Those were actually words that I could roughly make out. Those aren't words that I guessed, those are words I made inferences on. I roughly guessed those words. I completely said those words. I roughly guessed it. So, you might have actually tried to sound like a chicken talking. You might look stupid around your neighbors, but actually, you know, it's actually a cool thing to be talking to chickens like that. You know, talking to chickens like that, that's actually pretty cool. You can go up to your chickens and say, hey, how are you? And they'll actually give you a response. Sure, you won't most likely be able to understand it, but being able to hear what they're saying, make a guess on it, and continue with life, giving them a response, you know, that's, you know, that's like a response that you get from the chicken itself. You know, that's, it's a little hard to guess, and it, it does require some guessing, and a lot of knowledge on chickens. But, you know, all those different chicken sounds, they actually can mean something. Here's a conversation with translations that, here's a conversation with translations on, with, between a chicken and another chicken. Hope you find it, you know, informative. And look for all the different suffixes and prefixes you can find while watching it. Now, since some chickens actually have to take a guess on what other chickens are saying, they have to use their own body language to be able to guess it. So, chickens actually use their body language you know, just to like, you know, show them what they're saying, you know, just like, basically like sign language. They're showing what they're saying like this. They're basically like stepping, turning around, and clucking. They're basically saying something, you know. They actually use their body language like that. You know, usually it's just ruffling their feathers. However, sometimes that actually is used to mean something like get under or something like that. Yeah, this video is not really that informative. One last thing before the end of the video is to take note of what you hear. What I want you to do is I want you to, you know, look at what they're doing so you know, you know, like, this is what they're doing. 
you know, take note of what they're saying, you know, I'm gonna actually write it in like a book. You probably should be around them for around 30 to 30 seconds to one minute. Take note of each of their clocks, make a rough English guess on it, and post it in the comments below. Hopefully you won't get flagged as spamming. If so, I'll just approve it. You know, I actually check those, so yeah. I'll approve it, comment that in the description, I'll try to give you a rough translation of it. Because it's a little hard trying to teach someone else the language of an animal. You know, it's not 2080, we don't have, we can't just go to Google Translate and look up translate from English to chicken. Unfortunately, it is not like that. Because the chicken language is sound based. Meaning their language is based on sound and it's also movement based. Meaning it's also based around movement. Combine that together, a sound based and a movement based language and you get the chicken language. There are several variations which are like slang, you know? There are variations of it which which are basically like saying, oh, uh, which are basically like saying different things in the same language. Different words. You know, that's slang. It's chicken language. You know, that's what they're saying, actually. So, adopting to this and, you know, getting to know this. And fun fact, they, I don't know about this yet, but they might actually be changing their language as they grow. I know, right? Because they sound much different. However, I realized, I took note, that their cheeps sound very similar to their modern day clocks. <laughs> meaning, oh god, there's a red tail, it's up there, so meaning that they might actually be the same thing, so we don't know about this yet, but I'll definitely be doing research for part four. See you next video, everyone. See you in the superlatives. Goodbye. See you next video.